Hey, it's Chris with Rowe Dental Laboratory and today's topic is going to be guided bone reduction and how we can help out with that. We have a couple different guided options for bone reduction. Whether it's for your full arch case and you want the bone reduction guided and then of course your implant placement guided. Um, or if it's an overdenture case and maybe you have some bone reduction to get done prior to placing the implants and uh, letting them sleep until they're integrated. Either way, we have you covered. Our first option is the bone channel guide. Now how this works, it's a, it's a 3D printed all acrylic guide and you will seat it on the arch after flapping, of course. Um, there's a pin option, which we highly recommend placing the pins more for accuracy and stability. Um, you could have the option of just seating the, seating the guide on the bone and having the assistant hold it, but we always push towards pins because again, that's just the safest way to go. So you pin the guide in and you'll drill your osteotomies. You will not place the implants yet. And then the bone channel guide, there is a small channel that is cut or fabricated into the guide um, where it will shows your bone reduction line. You'll take, a certain, you'll take a burr and just score a line in the bone along that channel. Then you'll unpin the guide, reduce your bone, and then you pin the guide back in again. So it's a little bit more work with the bone channel guide um, but it's a little bit less expensive of an option. The Cadillac of guides is our metal bone reduction guide or metal fixation base and metal osteotomy guide. Um, this, once it's pinned in the mouth, it stays in the mouth so you don't have to pin and unpin. Very nice because it's metal. You can, you can watch your implant placement, of course. You can have, you have nice irrigation as well with the metal guide. So once that, that fixation base is pinned in, that is also your bone reduction line. So we're gonna reduce bone down to the fixation base. Then all you do is you take your osteotomy guide and it locks right in to the fixation base. So as I mentioned, no need to pin and repin like the bone channel guide. Seat the osteotomy guide, drill your, drill your osteotomy sites, place your implants, and then you're off and running, remove the guide and you're good to go. Suture the patient and send them on their way. If you have any questions on our bone reduction options or any of our surgical guide options, leave us some, a comment down below and we'll get back to you right away. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and check us out at our website. Thank you.